You know the word scare? Good. In a scare, we take the first step, the second step, the third step, then we reach the roof, right? So we step by step. And we are going, inshallah. Um, so I would like to introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Raif Awda Karim. Uh, I'm an English teacher in uh, or at um, the Jewish International School and Vision uh, Center for English Language. Um, I will let the mic for the other teachers to introduce themselves. Okay, guys, good night. Uh, my name is Muhammad Omar Sayyid Sam, and I'm a teacher at Steps International School. Okay, um, actually, we would like to cut the chase and start our discussion for today. So, the topic for today's discussion is. What does Sudan need to become a first world country? What does Sudan need to become a first world country? Um, we we'll try to fairly distribute the chances to all the people here so that they can participate. So please, if you have anything to say, just let us see your hand. Good. The first of all, in the name of Allah, the, the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Peace be upon you, dear brothers and sisters. I really appreciate you, Sudan. So thanks. I hope, Sudan, it will be the first country in all over the world. One day, inshallah, by the will of the God. My name is Bashir Ibrahim. I'm a student in Bahri University. I'm studying in the College of Community Study and Rural Development. My analysis library and information science. I really the topic. I appreciate the teacher that you will choose these words in order to distribute what you need. Really, the Sudan is need a real person that he needs the Sudan to be in a, in a talk. It's the person that he don't need to fill with his trauma. It's the person that he needs to fill the Sudan for words. Really, Sudan is good in anything, has anything. <laughs> Everything that in all over the world is looking for Sudan. Why? Because it's a better country. Have a water that is no can other country have it. We know that. But according of the government that is passed, we are not able to do everything. The person that he is good, we are going to kill him. As we know that. The other country is saying that the difference between Africa and other con other continent is the person that in a Sudan we have a ten person. All of them they are smart, and one of them is a stupid. And the other country have a ten of them are stupid, and one of them is a smart. They are putting the one that is smart in a front of them, and the other is going to be a leader. But we are in Sudan. Put a stupid one and let the clever one to be us what we know. I don't want to speak this word. I really I want to say in Sudan that we need a good person. We need Sudanese. We don't need other thing called religion, called uh, color, or something that is called personality. No, we need to be Sudanese. Just. I really this word that I want to say it for you. Say it and listen it for me. Sudan one day it's going to be the people will say that Sudan it is just is Sudan as it now. And now we we are seeing that. All the Sudanese have been seeing just now. In the past time there is something called color, religion, you are young, fat or something. But now it's just we are equal as in a religion we know that there is different person i hope america and european and asia and africa africa all the people sudan it will be the leader inshallah when day. i don't want to take a long time and we need in sudan to be one leader and all of us to be sudanese in order just to make a sudan forward my name is bashir ibrahim and so thanks i hope that sudan will be in the future Please give him a harsh clap again. Harder than this. Come on. Good. Um, so to the newcomers, um, our topic today for discussion is that what do we need in order to be a first leading country in the world? What do we need in order to be like 
America in order to be like UK, Russia, and all of those countries. So if you want to participate, raise up your hand. Yes, welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Kareem. My name is Anan or Anan. And I would like to thank Christians and those teachers for coming today. And we need firstly education. And education in in every state and here uh, everyone if you want if you, uh, in Sudan want to be educated he must come to Khartoum that's big fault must be the education in one level in every state in schools preschools universities everything must be in one level in every state okay and the other problem is must people let the other people problems? Must everyone solve his own problem? So that we can become different country. Okay? And right now Sudan is one one of the top countries. But no one knows that because our re leaders, our professionals, our genius people lead the other countries. Give me one country, there is no one Sudanese in the top in that country. We need our leaders to come back. We need our professional, our genius to come back to Sudan, to lead it and become one of the top. Right now is one of the top. Sudan is one of the top. We have the resources. Yeah. We have the genius people. We have the leaders. We have everything. But where are, the, are the, all those? Everything we have is shared with other countries. We need it for ourselves. We need it to become one of the top. And we will. We are now in new generation. We will make it. We will do it. After 10 years, you will find Sudan in number one in the world. Inshallah. <laughs> Thank you. So, good evening. Uh, technocratically, was he speaking? He, he said that we want the, the capable people to come again for Sudan, to help Sudan, to build Sudan. Uh, firstly, let me introduce myself uh, here. I'm Walid Othman. Uh, I'm an English teacher, by the way, and as well math. So I work for Steps School as my teacher here, working also, and my colleague here, Mr. Reis, also uh, for Idris English Schools, and maybe I'm gonna have a other school for the coming days. Anyhow, um, my teacher here said that. What does Sudan need to be a first country, the, the country that in the, in the leadership of other countries? So I said that he is my teacher and he is 26 years old, right? Or 25 years old, right? 25. And here I'm 31. He, he's younger than me. He became a teacher. He taught me firstly in the first step in my uh, institute. So how did he be become that? So he developed himself to learn other people that he is, that they are older than him. So this is my point. So what that, uh, the country need is everyone should develop himself. When you develop yourself, so you will develop other people. So what is the what is the country? The country is uh, consisting of people right so the people are living in a country so imagine with me if, if everyone in the country is developed so how would we how would the country be so it would be a better place for living for education for health for everything so my point is develop yourself when you develop yourself you're gonna develop your community when your community is developed you're gonna develop your country and this is the point and this uh, the main concern should be developing yourself so i'm gonna let the chance for other people to, to have the stage thank you thank you very much mr Wally. yes Hello everybody, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, really glad to be uh, standing in front of you here. Uh, 
and uh, introducing myself. My name is uh, Abdul Latif Babikir Suleiman. Uh, I'm uh, studying at uh, Hartman University as a student, Faculty of Art, Department of uh, English uh, and Russian as well. Uh, mostly my friends uh, call me Lutvi, uh, that's my nickname. Uh, according to the topic, uh, I would like to only uh, uh, cover uh, a few points. Uh, uh, firstly, I would like to talk about uh, uh, investing uh, the, the young generation. This will be the first point, okay, because uh, really uh, the, 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 the youth and the, the old uh, generation, okay, uh, we consider them, you know, like uh, they are out of this stuff because uh, the coming generation will lead the Sudan and he has the right to make uh, the Sudan a better place. So investing uh, young generation is by, like, you know, like uh, finding a suitable situation and environment for those young people who are now uh, from the age of uh, 5 to, till the 12 so in order to develop and uh, offer them uh, uh, education uh, and you know, like, a place that they can develop themselves uh, and you know like whenever like uh, we uh, develop and evolve the, the education and you know like uh, give those young people a chance to show themselves this will grant us, you know, like a better, better chance and better opportunity, uh, you know, like uh, that they can, you know, like uh, have a chance in order to lead our country. And a leader is most better than to be a boss. Uh, and secondly, I would like to talk about sustainable development. Okay, because really in, in Sudan we don't have this uh, uh, sustainable development. Uh, only, you know, like. Uh, those who are uh, uh, on the authority, they all see, uh, they only can condescend our uh, economic, uh, uh, all the institution uh, which is running by by them has been like uh, corrupt, and this really, uh, really weird. Okay, and uh, I like for those who are coming in the, the the next generation or the 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 the. the the generation uh, which he, uh, we are so in order to have this point of view that they have to be uh, open-minded uh, and well educated and uh, sophisticated and qualified enough in order to take place and put the, the, the right person in the right place and this will guarantee us uh, uh, a way that you know like we are going to have a sustainable development uh, in our country uh, and you know like it's not only by letting the, those who are in the, uh, in the in the top to lead us, but we as uh, civilian, uh, you know, like we have the right, you know, you know uh, to change uh, to change everything uh, that we see is, is is not suit our generation. So, for example, you are responsible, not not other one is responsible for you. You know, uh, if you find something uh, really is really not good. And you don't have to uh, wait for someone else in order to change it. You have to change it yourself. If you can't change it with your, you know, like your words uh, or uh, with your advice, you know, like even try to change it with your heart. That will be a great deal. Uh, and eventually, I would like to sign uh, a Sudanese Research uh, Association for this uh, really city, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, English clubs and. Uh, uh, I really thank them for uh, uh, my name is uh, Abdul Latif. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abdul Latif. Yes. What is yours? Nice. Thank you. Thank so the country has been so long since I spoke English, but when it comes to speaking about my country, here I have to do my best. So this is the best time to do our best, all of us as Sudanese people, and this is our responsibility to build our country in order to make it the best country in the entire world. So uh, we are here to deliver a message for the entire world that we are the best nation ever, not only by demonstration or revolution but that appears clearly here in sitting here in this place because we are sharing each other we are helping each other and we care about each other so this is a clear message for the entire world i would like to speak about point that i guess this is the most important point that we have to discuss today that are we weak do we need other countries in order to be to help us? 
So actually we do not need any country to help us because we are a country which is full of resources. We have water, we have animal resources, and we have agriculture. So, but the thing that we have to care or concentrate about is how to manage these resources. And as you know that in the previous period that we were suffering about corruption. Why? Because the previous system or region, they were corrupted. And that appeared in all <coughs> organizations here in Sudan. So, the message that I want to send from this place is we are the strongest nation ever. We do not need any help from any country. We are able to build or rebuild our country again by investing these resources which we have on our plate nowadays. So, for the future, I want to concentrate on points which are related to the process of development for our country. The very thing that we have to care about is education, because if we concentrate on education, we are going to build better community by having the best generation ever. So right now, we sacrifice for sake of our children, for sake of our coming generation. <coughs> might die soon, might not get benefits from this revolution, but we are, what we are doing right now, as all people here, is to sacrifice, is to let our coming generation to have better situation in Sudan. So, we will develop our country because who are we? We are champions. We are going to have the best curriculum ever because who are we? We are champions. We are going to do things in order to develop our country because who are we? We are champions. So we are going to be best nation ever because who are we? We are champions. So we are going to have the best situation in the world because who are we? We are champions. So we are going to put better system in education, in health and all these fields because who are we? We are champions. Thank you. Uh, and again, uh, the question appears. Who are we? We are champions. Champions do not speak like this. Who are we? We are champions. Great. Right. Yes, we are. But so then, um, your vision's point of view. Yes. So it's yours. <coughs> Hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh, how are you today? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for being here. Uh, before, before I start, I would like to introduce myself to you. Uh, my name is Abdul Munir Ali. Uh, I'm a, an English language teacher at the University of Bahrain. So really, I'm so glad to be with, with you in this forum, Sudanese Researchers Foundation. So, um, the question and the topic that we have is very clear actually. So, how Sudan can be a leading country. So, since three decades ago, we <laughs> suffered a lot. Suffered a lot from very dictatorial and brutal regime of al-Bashir. And now Bashir fell down. But it still, its roots stick in Sudanese, uh, let's say, foundations. Uh, Sudanese, let's say, uh, uh, was in the health or education, they are still there. This is our, our, our role, we can change this by trying to, you know, revolt against them. So by, by doing so that, this is the first step to change our country for, forward. Uh, but if we just uh, go back our homes and sleep like that, that means the system will be there. So we need to change this system, system of injustice, injustice everywhere in Sudan, whether this is in Darfur, Blue Nile, or South Kordofan states, or Northern <laughs> province of Sudan, or Eastern Sudan, injustice is everywhere. There is social injustice 
one of the problems that we have is social injustice. How we can solve this problem? So how Sudan can be a country that everywhere, uh, everybody can live peacefully? So this is our dream. This dream can be achieved only if we are around here, in this place. So we have three slogans. These three slogans are uh, peace, justice, and freedom. So peace, uh, as, as it is always said that, peace is not absence of war. Peace is inside of us. So how can I accept each other as Sudanese people? We have to have peace inside us. This is the first one. And then freedom. When we come to talk about uh, freedom, this is a very big term. We have to practice it. And instead of just theoretically talking about peace, we have to practice uh, freedom. So freedom of press, freedom of expressing your opinions, freedom of thoughts, freedom, freedom. So when we come to talk about freedom, it is very wide. We can't imagine it. So this is about <coughs> freedom and peace. But what about justice? Let, let's say three decades ago that governed by Bashir regime, we had a lot of injustices. So that means justice should be upon everybody. So we should be the same. So everybody who commit crime should be held accountable. Accountability should be on everybody. Not, uh, for example, if somebody poor uh, does something does something bad, you held accountable and forget about somebody, somebody who is rich. We have to be like what? Like this hand, Same. okay, finger. So justice should be uh, on everybody. And one of the principles of uh, being a leading country is that there should be democracy. We need democracy here in this country. That means uh, a country of law and order. A country of law and order. A country of constitution. We need to have constitution. And I would like to say that one of the uh, things that said by Barack Obama, when he came to Africa for the first time, I think in, in Ghana, in the country of uh, West Africa, he said that Africa does not need strong men. Africa needs strong constitutions. So in Sudan here, we need strong constitutions. So how can we build a strong constitution? By being here, <coughs> by having awareness in our mind. So that's all what I want to say. So I would like to thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well said. Um, um, we are great, the Sudanese nation, right? And one of the great things that we revolted and, and, and we gained after this um, magnificent and heroic revolution is that we have changed an aspect that our ancestors had in their minds and it was very primitive. They used to say that Sawut al Mar'a, Aura. But they have proven that the voice of women is not a thing that we should be ashamed of. Sawut al Mar'a, Thawra. And they have proven this um, since the, 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 the revolution and the past four months. So right now, uh, we would love to have um, a feminine voice in order to speak and to share our opi uh, our opinions uh, with. So, yes, miss? <coughs> this is yours. Clover. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. I'm Nihal Motes. Uh, what does Sudan need to be the best country? I believe in education. So, if we need to build Sudan, everyone must be well educated. So, if you are well educated, you can give a lot to your country. Um, moreover, I believe in uh, that our differences and our different cultures is our strength. It's not our weakness. I believe in that. So we have to accept each other. We have to support each other. We have to believe in ourselves that no one is better than you. You have to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, 
you can build this country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Huh? The people, opinions, faces, yes. Welcome. Clap for him, please. Assalamu alaikum. Um, 45 days I was in South Africa, and of course I listened. Soon it started to knock. And that's why I rushed and I came to eat this fruit. The fruit which is, which is mentioned by, made by Sudanese young generations. And the fruit which was been chasing maybe 30 years back. I don't know how to describe the situation itself because I feel I'm serious right now, particularly in this moment. I feel the serious, I'm serious. I know freedoms which we're looking for is not easy to ask, not overnight. But what I knew, we were the pay price. Our price goal is going to be well known among all nations. And by the way, what I give up, I've been disappointed while I was traveling. The country that describes Sweden is as they are paralyzed nations. They are no longer going to even achieve small goals. What I came back to knew that Sweden is start to say no. And of course, please, ladies and gentlemen, you are the one who is going to present this country. You are the one who is going to contribute positively. It's undebatable, of course, to speak about this issue. And things not going to change overnight and come and easy unless you pay price. I am one of victim nation who has victimized maybe family that which is attacked by ex regimes, which we are called them dictators. And we, we, we never feel disappointed. Since we have you as young generation in light in mind, we never feel disappointed at all. Because we have been expected, change will come. And the change already come approaching. We're supposed to wait. Fruit of this change. We're supposed not to leave things because I know those NCB, they're still around. It's undebatable. They're interfering even to discourage it. But they have to know only one mechanism, which is Sudanese start to say, this is our time. This is our time to achieve our goals. No more, no less. Please, my small advice, you, individual, or common, we have to speak about common interests, not to be individual interests. Remove the concept of which is made by ex government tribe and races. People come up with enlightened minds. And of course, those ex government they are doubting our capacity, our effort. But why right now, of course, they get shocked and surprised. My surprise is young generation, they defeat military through Facebook and WhatsApp. And thank you. Thank you so much for your speech. For your speech. So since we have uh, developing countries and developed countries, um, I think, so here should be a, we have developing countries like Sudan, Ethiopia, and Saudi Arabia and those, and we have developed countries like Britain, uh, America, and those. So, uh, so I'm going to give the chance for the one, a PhD student, the one who lives in the UK, uh, to tell us about how do they work, how did they become a great country. So the mic is for Mr. Mohammed, please come over here. Thank you. So, uh, so I was born in England, so that's why I, I want to keep my, I want, yeah, sorry, 
I was born in England, so that's why I don't want to speak too much. I want the opportunity for other people to speak. Um, I guess just the thing that I would like to say about like how um, how England came to be how it is, is uh, and the reason why people are expected to learn the English language. Uh, I, I've, I've, to be honest with you, I, I think it's because of the violent processes of colonialism. <laughs> you know? uh, so I think that we also have to understand the negative aspects as well. Um, and we have to understand ourselves that when we're learning English, what we're trying to do also is not create a new class of educated people while the vast majority of people don't speak English. The solution should be to have those few people who may have the opportunity to learn English go out maybe, study in the big universities, but go there as someone who is taking what, what belongs to you because um, Britain reached its heights through theft and uh, only by using the language of the people who colonized you can you be able to undo the problems caused by colonialism. I know that that's sort of a more negative take on uh, the conversation about English, but it's my honest belief. Um, so I, I, I hope that people can learn the skills that they need from English, use that technical skill to snatch away the resources that were taken from you so that you can develop uh, and we can develop something. Harsh opinion. Thank you so much. So when you go there, when you go break in America, take what belongs to you. Be Sudanese. So let's hey, take the other chances. Yeah, you can have. Uh, so I, I seek protection from the devil of gods in the name of Allah, most gracious and most merciful. Uh, Allah praise you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We salute the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all his companions, his slaves, and the found my singer. So, Larry, uh, the first, let me to salute you with the solution of Islam. It's peace be upon you, the one of the smiling peaceful. Uh, so, Larry, I'm very happy to stand in among of you and discuss about one of the great issues that is. So, uh, at the first, let me to uh, introduce myself to you. So, my name is Allah Asair. Uh, I come from the Western the Ford State. So, I'm going to tell, uh, to tell you something that what's the great thing that we, wa we wanted to, uh, to, to, to do in order to build our Sudan as uh, American, peop uh, American countries or uh, European countries and uh, other foreign uh, countries. So, I want to uh, uh, say that the, the first is education. So, the, 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 the education is the first one that can, what, can play a bigger role in this, in this country in order to, to build our country so uh, for example I was now we are uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the in the in the middle of the of the of the building our our country uh, our country so as we are now this this place uh, it's gonna to what to build our uh, to capacity our what's uh, capacity building uh, our, uh, our 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 ideas our our uh, so so on so I, I'm, I'm also I'm gonna to say that uh, the, the the second thing that can uh, first or can can do on that is, uh, to what to avoid the uh, uh, the 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 the, the great or the, the bad thing that as what discrimination as we know that in the foreign people in the foreign in the foreign and uh, in Jubal and Nova uh, uh, mountain uh, Nova mountain and and so on in the Sudan have many uh, westerns uh, or have many states that are doing by the words by discrimination so if you are avoid the discrimination we will what's going to uh, higher. So um, the third thing that I want to say that is, uh, so uh, when we are going to uh, to build, so let us to uh, to respect our our idea, each others, and uh, let us to what to put it our idea in one column in order to what to do our best. So uh, I'm going to say that for the people, this is our time. So for the young generation, this is our time. We are going to what to build. Our, our our new Sudan by own ideas, not for the bigger people as uh, our, as generation of the Omar Bashir. He the he's the Korokadai and even uh, uh, now now our 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 president he the Korokadai. But also we wanted to what to filling down this Korokadai to at uh, the And thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it means like they they, uh, they are Korokadai. So it means like they lie us. Okay. So let us have the uh, other chance um, talking about Mr. Montase. Uh, please come over here to reveal your opinion. 
Is someone to say, please come over here. Yeah. Here you are. Uh, hi guys. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, first of all, thank you for giving me this chance. Such an honor that you cannot be described or even suppress it. Uh -huh. Can you hear? Is it clear? Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, but uh, it is unbelievable actually what is happening right now in Sudan and the remarkable, amazing, fascinating, and astonishing message that we are delivered to the whole world. I feel like right now we are uh, showing the others, telling the others who we are as Sudanese because since the beginning uh, as a result of the colonization most of the African nations haven't had the chance to prove themselves which resulted in a problem that we somehow have which is the, the problem in the self-esteem but what's happening right now with the new generation all those amazing people actually who had started this revolution and all the beautiful things that is happening right now the only thing that i can say how much proud am i for being sudanese actually it's amazing unbelievable actually cannot be even described and the second thing For a few months, the only thing that I was working so hard to achieve and tell where is traveling out Sudan. Why? Because I, I believe that when I travel out Sudan, I will have more chances with good jobs, good salary, and even my way of living would be amazing actually. But when the revolution started, I, I feel like I realized one of the hiding deepest part in my heart which is how much I love this country. I didn't think like this before. And the only thing that I think about right now, instead of traveling out Sudan in order to have a better life, let us bring the people from our Sudan to the Sudan in order to have their better lives. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Yes. Um, just a comment. Uh, the thing that Mr. Monte said, um, uh, one of the terms that this revolution brought up um, um, amongst our, our chests is the term of patriotism. The act of patriotism is the act of loving your country. I firmly believe that five months from now, or uh, back uh, then, five months, each single one of us would have one dream, or the only dream that we had as an uh, as a generation is to travel outside the country to seek our personal life. Right now, we are seeking for a superior um, for a superior goal, which is developing our country. Right now, the patriotism or the love for the country is raising up. Uh, among us and it is one of the blessings that I thank personally the God that I had right now or oh, I have right now sorry uh, the, 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 the act of loving my country did not come just from me I've learned how to love my country from the people that I'm seeing right now and from the thoughts and the, from their good intentions for a uh, brighter future huh. others Again, to recall the, uh, the topic, the topic is that um, Sudan or the new Sudan, visions and thoughts. What are the, your visions and thoughts for uh, a new country? Yes, mister, please clap for him. Uh, please uh, excuse me, I want to have a seat. Um, good evening, everyone. 
Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Sudanese Researchers Foundation um, to have this program, this um, discussion, because um, we want to make this sit in protest um, as much as possible, because let us not to forget why we are here. Because um, before this five months ago, nobody expected that one day we will be able to sit here in this place and have this open discussion. So we have to be, be very thankful for the great effort that has been done by you, by us, but those who you know sacrificed to make everything possible. But let us not forget that still things are not going in the right track that we are looking for. So this is why we are here. Um, I think uh, the, the title of the topic, why Sudan is not a leading country, why it's not considered as one of the poorest countries or one of the developed countries, um, I think according to the reason that we are here, I want just to talk about the political system because every country is ruled by government and the responsibility of governments around the, you know, the, the countries or around the world is to leave countries. So once you have very strong government that run by constant constitution, uh, it's a democratic government, you will make sure that the country will go in the right direction. It's like you're going to be able to have the sustainable development, whether it's the social development or economic development. Because when we look at our potential, the thing that we have, resources, um, I think a lot of countries that now we are looking for them as leading countries, they don't have even 50%, I mean 50 of what we have right now. But it's still because of uh, the government. I still consist to say the government. Why? Because individuals don't run countries. So once there is a good, I mean, a good government, when I say good, it's mean democratic, a civilian a government that we are looking for it right now. Once we have this, we will be able to have uh, good constitutions, good institutions even. Uh, but without this, and this is the you know the decade that we had it since uh, 1989, that we have been ruled by um, dictatorship government um, that was corrupted government. Because when, the, when there is a corruption, everyone pay the one. The, the, the consequence because within corruption, um, um, those who are qualified they don't have chance. Those who are having vision they don't have chance because within corrupted government the opportunity is only for those who are with that regime and this is the reason that you know obstacle us and the reason that why we are here right now. So. All of our effort right now is supposed to be toward having a civilian government. And some people may say that, why civilian government? Because um, when we have civilian government, we can guarantee that um, everything will go in the right direction. So this is it. Um, this is, I think, um, the only thing that I want to say it right now, because the everything is going to be for someone else. A lot of things could be said, but it's enough for me right now. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Since we speak English, we, um, a, I'm going to just ask my teacher with the uh, Miss Ansari. Uh, you learned English. How you see, do you connect learning English with the de developing uh, your, your country? How, ca how can you just see, connect those two points? Uh, learning English with developing your country. Okay, thank you very, very much for giving me this opportunity. Um, actually, I don't have a lot of things to add because the people who spoke before me actually uh, added a great value to the, to the thing that we're making here. Uh, uh, relating to your question, how can we link between English and the development of our country? Uh, essentially, we need all the people in Sudan to be educated, right? Uh, one of the problems that face us, that face not only students but even researchers, is the ability to dig and get information because it's mainly written in English, right or not. You find a great difficulty in solving it or understanding it and this is, this is the real problem. 
uh, how can we make Sudan a first world country? Uh, the answers were a lot. One of them was education, uh, getting rid of discrimination, uh, racism, tribalism, and all of these things. But the thing that I want to really highlight is that we need to be hard work because as you can see, our revolution is not over yet, right? Yes, it needs more work. work. Uh, this reminds me of a thing that was said by our professors at university. Uh, he was uh, doing his PhD research at, uh, in Germany, and his professor asked him, he said for him, uh, you're from Sudan, right? He said for him, yes. He said for him, how long does the football team okay, train uh, a day? For how long? Uh, our professor actually replied, he said, maybe they train for two or three hours. The German professor so confidently replied, he said, your country will never, never, ever qualify for the final World Cup. So why? Because they are not working hard enough. He said for him, do you know how, how long or how, I mean, consistently do we work here at Germany? Uh, Actually, our professor didn't know. The German professor said for him, the football player here in Germany is like, uh, let's say, a, a guy who works in an office. He comes to the club early in the morning at 8 o'clock, and he leaves at 5 or 6 o'clock. So how, how long is that for a work? It's very long, right? Yes. The thing that we know is that uh, all of us here are graduates or even post-graduates. We think that once we graduate, we'll find a job, okay, straight away. Uh, uh, it doesn't work like this, even outside. Yes, the, the ones who are very brilliant, they get jobs, but those who are not that good, they, they struggle in order to find a job. Our problem here as Sudanese people is that we get easily distracted. Like, uh, we focus on many uh, hoaxes on the social media, and we forget to work on the thing that really matters, which is ourselves. Let's say we want, you want to study about something. You will try to open your Facebook account and see people commenting on a lot of things. You'll try to follow up and try to know what are they speaking about, right? Uh, this is our problem first. We need to keep only one target in our mind and try to reach it as hard as possible. Uh, for me, um, before this revolution, my only target was traveling outside, so, as I've been working on this a great deal. Yes, but today, as we can see, uh, we didn't start only change for a political system. Actually, I don't know a great deal about politics. I don't even care about it. What we care about is the development of our country. Yeah, because if we take the greatest country in the world, United States of America, how many political parties do they have? The great ones, only two, right? Yes, so all of the country has only two political parties, yet it's one of the most developed countries. How did Japan develop? Because they worked on two things, worked hard on education, right? So this is it. Here, we sadly have the resources, but they are not uh, invested in a perfect way. Uh, actually, this is all the time that we've got for today. Uh, we really enjoyed being with you here, and we really want to thank the Sudanese Researchers Foundation for this very healthy opportunity, really. Uh, I want you guys to clap for yourselves because you're, uh, you're a part of this. Uh, our, our discussion will start tomorrow at 9 o'clock, so guys, try to be there. Uh, the topic for tomorrow will be patriotism and nationalism and what, what are the differences between them and what do we really need in order to make our country a better country. Okay, uh, let me remind you again, nationalism and patriotism and how and what do we need in order to make our country a better country. Thank you very much, guys.